Hi, welcome to Catalyst. I'm Maurice and I'm here to introduce you to the Catalyst training system. Let's start by unboxing. Open up the top. And you'll find the quick start guide. Make sure you read through this before your first workout. You can place this to the side for now. Then open up the wrapping. And you'll find on top here, the vest. Underneath that, you'll see the shorts, as well as the arm straps. Two base layers. This, was, this is what you're gonna be wearing underneath the suit when you train. Your spray bottle for wetting down the pads of the suit. your charger for the impulse pack, and your arm connectors. Last but not least, you'll see your impulse pack. This is the brains of the operation and what will be powering the suit. Now let's get ready to prep the suit. Now it's time to prep your suit. You wanna start off by making sure your impulse pack and iPad are both charged. Then you can throw on your base layer. We recommend no additional clothing underneath the base layer to allow for maximal contact from the pads to your muscles. Then you wanna find each part of the suit, the vest, the shorts, and the arm straps. Take them out of their individual bags. Now we're gonna to begin to put the suit together. Grab a large towel and lay it out on a flat surface. Then you're gonna lay out the suit on top of the towel. You'll find these two buckles that you're gonna connect the vest to the shorts like so. Then we're gonna open up the suit so all the pads are facing upward and exposed. Unzipping the vest and opening up. Same thing for the shorts. Unbuckling. It's easiest when suiting up if all the straps are loose, so go ahead and loosen those now. and then opening up. Same thing for the other side here. Like that. Great. Don't forget your arm straps. You can grab these and place them next to the suit on the towel. This looks good. Go ahead and grab your spray bottle and we're gonna to begin to wet down the pads. Now let's apply water to the pads. You wanna take your spray bottle and press the nozzle into the pad in a zigzagging motion, applying pressure, injecting the pad full of water. Make sure these are nice and soaked. You can press down with a couple fingers and you should see a small puddle start to form. That's how you know the pads are efficiently soaked. Now that our suit is primed, let's get suited up. Start off by putting on the vest. We're gonna zip up the front. We're gonna secure the belt next. Grab both sides. It's gonna sit right at the hips and make sure that there's solid compression. Velcro that, followed by attaching the buckle and tighten. Let's do the legs next. You're gonna grab this quad pad from in between the legs. It's gonna wrap over the front top. Secure these two buckles. And you wanna position the quad pad so it's over the top of your leg as much as possible. And then tighten these two straps, making sure there's solid compression again. Same thing for the other side. So it's gonna go over the top. Two buckles, position it, and tighten. The suit, the suit should fit nice and tight. Great. Side straps on the vest are next. There's four on each side. You're gonna grab these straps and you just wanna pull forward. Making sure you get all the straps and end with the shoulder straps at the top. 
knees pull forward and Velcro down, fitting nice and tight. A pro tip when tightening the shoulder straps, if you notice some extra fabric, you can place your thumb under and your finger under the strap while you're pulling forward and it will fold nicely for more comfort on the collarbone area. Let's do the arm straps next. You're going to grab one. They're interchangeable. There's not a right or a left. There's two pads, one for the bicep and one for the tricep. Start off by creating a loop like so, and then you're going to slide your arm through and just tighten it loosely to start. Then you want to position it so those two metal spots for the connectors are sitting right below your shoulder in the middle of your arm on the outside. Then you're going to tighten over the top and you know you've done it correctly when there's that gap on the inside of your arm. Then you're going to grab your arm connectors. These are also interchangeable and you're going to snap on the two on the spots on the arm strap to the two spots near your shoulder straps. Go ahead and do the next arm strap. Let's attach our impulse pack to the suit. You're going to start off by sliding the body of the impulse pack in this pocket on the back side of your right leg. The short cables are going to fit through this loop and just magnetically attach to the shorts. And this longer cable is just going to attach to the spot on the vest, just like that. Now let's pair your impulse pack to the iPad. To do this, start off by getting the impulse pack into pairing mode. You only need to do this the first time. You want to hold down the power button until you see the blue light go from slow to quick flashing, and then you can release. Now go into a workout and your iPad will request to pair to the impulse pack. When you get to the workout preparation screen, the suit is checking for two things, efficient compression from the pads to your muscles and enough water on the pads. If a red pad shows up on the screen, you want to start off by making sure all the straps are tight. You can even give an extra tug to all the different straps, including the shoulder straps. Great. Then you can tap on a recheck pads. If that doesn't work, you may have to apply some extra water to the pad showing up as red. For easy to reach pads, such as the chest area, you can grab your spray bottle and apply some water just like this between the base layer and the suit. For harder to reach pads, such as the pads in the back area, you may have to take off the suit, apply some extra water to those pads, put the suit back on, then tap on recheck pads. Once you see all white pads on the screen, that means that you're ready to work out. Let's talk about your intensity adjustment. Your ultimate goal is to experience an overall consistent muscle contraction throughout the entire suit. Your overall range can be anywhere between 60 and 100 or even higher, but this will be your starting intensity that the app will ramp you up to over the first minute of your workout. Each muscle group will have an individual intensity and the numbers may vary across the different channels. Focus on the feeling of each muscle group rather than matching the numbers because they most likely will be different. You want to start with the shorts, followed by the vest, and finishing with the arms. You can also increase or decrease individual muscles. For example, just the quads or just the chest. You can do that by tapping on the muscle to select it. Once you feel an overall consistent muscle contraction, pause the session and exit out. The app will automatically save the intensities to your account. Now you are ready for your workout. Let's talk about the strength mode. The strength mode operates in a four second rhythm of four seconds of impulse followed by four seconds of rest. It is paired with static movements to improve your stability and strength. The strength mode activates more type one muscle fibers that contract slower and take longer to fatigue. You'll experience the strength mode in your first catalyst workout. Have fun. Let's talk about the power mode. Just like the strength mode, the power mode operates in a four second rhythm, meaning four seconds of impulse followed by four seconds of rest. 
is paired with more dynamic movements and even multiple reps. It activates more type 2 muscle fibers, also known as the fast twitch muscle fibers. These muscle fibers contract quicker, but they also fatigue faster. This mode can improve your explosiveness and performance. Now go ahead and give it a try. Let's talk about the cardio mode. The cardio mode operates in a consistent impulse throughout the workout. You do not achieve a full muscle contraction, but rather a constant pulsing sensation. It can help improve your endurance as well as blood flow. It is paired with cardio style movements such as walking, running, and jumping. Go ahead and give it a try. Let's talk about the recovery mode. This mode operates at a slower consistent impulse to increase blood flow, flush out lactic acid, and improve recovery time. No need for any active movements using this mode. You can even sit or lay down. Feel free to take your impulse pack out of your pocket. Now get comfortable and enjoy.